and uh, the rainfall and the colder temperatures. You really may not want to check it out tomorrow after some of the warm weather we've had lately, but it is on the way. Uh, no doubt. Let's take you outside here to San Jose. We did actually manage a good amount of sunshine down here in the South Bay right now. Some high clouds starting to filter across and after 70s this time yesterday. Uh, we're already dropping it down to 63 degrees right now, and then those 50s coming in over the next few hours with increasing cloud cover up towards Napa. It's also been a mix of some sun and clouds 60 right now and check it out by 10 o'clock tonight. We're already down to a chilly 49. So what's causing all these changes? I wanted to show you uh, the storm system. It's pretty uh, wide reaching here as it drops down across the West and tomorrow specifically it's going to move right on top of California and that's going to continue to drop temperatures another 10 to 15 degrees colder. Uh, so find that heaviest jacket. It's going to serve you well tomorrow and not only some rain chances, but even some thunderstorms mixed in. I really think it's going to impact you the most if you're doing any commuting uh, through the late commute tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll start it off here at 630 in the morning. Uh, Marin, Napa, Sonoma County with the best chance. Anytime you see the yellow and the orange, those are some heavier downpours. We then see by about nine o'clock this quickly making it over to the East Bay Peninsula and the South Bay. And then as we head through the afternoon, we'd be into some scattered on and off rain chances. Also notice this through tomorrow afternoon and evening, uh, some snow picking up on our local mountains. So Mount Hamilton could see uh, anywhere from one to two inches as we head through this storm system. We then be into some on and off rain chances as that system just kind of lingers uh, through Northern California into tomorrow night. And we'd see the same thing on Friday's forecast at times, some sun, some clouds, and then we'd get into a quick downpour here uh, that may hold some thunderstorms even into Friday's forecast. So rainfall totals tomorrow a quarter to a half inch. We'd see likely that half inch number up across some of the higher elevations and a quarter inch or less for most of the lower elevations. And as we head through Friday's forecast, it's just trace amounts to about two tenths of an inch. Now not here, but heading up to the Sierra tomorrow, we're in for anywhere from four to about 12 inches. You got to go up to the highest levels to get in on that foot. Uh, but notice this, the snow going down and starting right right around Auburn and Placerville. So chain controls are going to be needed and early on. OK, let's move it into the temperatures because that really is the other thing that's going to impact everyone. We're going to start it off tomorrow down in the low 40s as that rain returns. Uh, 41 here over the Tri Valley. 40 in the North Bay and the East Bay at 42 and these daytime highs. Man, this is uh, a hard uh, numbers to see here as we roll through tomorrow's forecast. 55 in San Jose. That's it over to uh, the East Bay. Lots of double fives. Martinez at 53 Peninsula 52 in Redwood City, San Francisco 54 in downtown and up here for the North Bay 52 in Napa 54 in Nevada. OK, this isn't for you. How about some heat? Let me show you this 10 day forecast. We're going to start in with some 70s by Monday of next week and check it out going up to 80 by next Thursday. So some warmer weather. It's on the way. Just hold on here. And as we head through next Monday, we should be able to see the partial eclipse. It starts at 1014 in the morning when the sun will be obscured 35%. So we're kind of getting it all in here. Cold temps, rain, thunderstorms, even an eclipse next Monday. Okay. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah.